You know my mother works here, right? It's not like she saw us. Hey, Ma. So you took the pictures? Yeah, and they all turned out horrible. If Papa gets to make your election signs, I get to choose the shot. Shouldn't there be four? Uh, no, no, there's just three. What are you talking about, horrible? Every one of these says president to me. <laughs> All right, I'll see you at home, huh? Bye. Dylan. Dylan, wait up. Dylan, where are you going? Back to my dorm. Oh. OK, then here, take this with you. Make your dorm mates jealous. They're straight. OK, so make them uncomfortable. Actually, they don't have a problem with me being gay. I'm your boyfriend, Marco. I know. Yeah, well, you're the only one in your family that does. Babe, I'll call you later. So said the call this way. Not as many times as my brother, though. Do you think I'd make a good travel agent? I so need the job. Wait, you talked to Dylan? In between repeat calls to Spinner. Weird. He said he was gonna phone me last night. He was probably busy studying or joining secret societies, whatever they do at university. Should I be worried? Paige. Dylan's hard to read, okay? He he has his little tantrum and then Ow! Prostrate much? Try looking where you're walking. <laughs> Ice patches, bottomless pits, dog crap, and Alex. Pedestrian hazards to avoid. Nice shirt. Hate to bloody it. Nice attitude. Hate to deflate it by reminding you that you're a loser. Really, who decided that? Everybody. Majority rules on these matters, sweetie. So, why do you girls always make your hair bigger? Why are you guys always catching us doing embarrassing stuff? How you uh, been? Good morning. Who else is ready to say Gouda or perhaps Gruyere? Hey, hey Liberty. Liberty. Um, hey, Chris, I'm sorry for what happened with us in the summer. Maybe we could go for a shake sometime. Yeah, maybe. Gay kid, hey. I said hey. You also said gay kid, something I tend not to answer to. Thanks. OK, school president, Mr. Prez, big guy. That more you? The selection thing. What are the issues? Look, I'm sorry Paige was rude to you, OK? Doesn't matter. Come on, answer my question like you care. Save it for the assembly, Alex. Alex, come here. Hey, Marco. Hope you're ready for a horse race. Alex is running? Mm hmm Tells me she's hungry for blood. At any rate, she's got a lot of kids talking already. And not about you. Vultures and helicopters overhead have broken down. Use car blues, there's no time to joke around. The only solution I can think of. Is the seat taken? I'm sorry, kiss sweet bacon? Is this seat taken? <laughs> no, no, no. Go ahead, sit down. Uh, <laughs> buck 65. For the headphones? That's who's on the system. <laughs> I like this part. <laughs> yeah. I've always wanted to broaden my knowledge of popular music. <laughs> Professor Chris at your service. Really? Yeah. Oh. 
Maybe we can go to the record store sometime. Or the CD shop, whatever. Um, I'll buy you a falafel. It's a date. Alex? As the most likely to succeed in killing someone, Alex, hand me your nomination form. You need cash or whatever? I'm here. We'll hang posters. Hand out flyers? Whatever it takes to help. Alex's campaign is an illiterate catchphrase. I'm not so worried. I'll see you guys later. 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 No, Marco's not worried at all. Not about Alex. Let's just say uh, Siegfried might be looking for a new boy. Dylan, hey, uh, can we talk? Now's not a good time, Marco. Look, I just had this really huge day. There's someone running against me now. Well, that's what happens in elections, right? Right. Um, uh, you forgot to call me last night. After the thing with the pictures, I came back to my dorm, and, um, I did a lot of thinking. Dylan, come on, it was just a stupid picture. It's not just a picture, Marco. And I can't do this anymore. I'm sorry. Not like this. I gotta go. So if A is equal to 26 in this trapezoid, you can tell me what the value of B is. Add a breath at the Anyone? end of a long summer, waiting for a phone call that isn't a wrong number, a smile from a pretty girl. Liberty, you want to give it a Don't try? Fail me. I sleep like a baby. Liberty. Get out of jail. A uh, buck sixty-five. <laughs> nice try. JT? Okay, let's try this one more time. Liberty's the listening. area of a trapezoid is given by the formula A you equals one half that. A and plus B times has to calculate, If remember. A equals one half B no. and A equals B. Girls, the class is up here. And Manny. So are you. I'll give you a hint. 3A equals B, and H equals one half of a 3A. Hey, Mark, where do you go? Uh, you don't want to see your posters. Yeah, sure, my posters. Just a minute. Hey, hey, your mama and I are very proud that you are. Uh, we're going to come to the assembly uh, for your victory speech. Um, actually, Pabad, there's competition now. It's okay. The niece should help you win. See, your mama, she picked the perfect picture. President, it's you. Yeah, yeah, it's me. I have to write a speech. Marco, what's wrong? The fact that I'm gonna have to eventually deliver said speech. Marco. Relationship stuff, Ma. I met this person last year and, well, we, the people break up. It's, I'll be fine, it's not a big deal. I didn't know you had a girlfriend. I don't. So it was Dylan. What? Dylan's my friend, Ma. I'm not gay. So, 
gonna bring in Chris. It's a crash, big deal. Funny, but it was a date tomorrow after school. Liberty sees an opportunity, she goes for it. She's like a rabid wolverine. A reminder to all student candidates that your nomination... So, I've got ear cancer, thanks. Last night, Dylan had me on the phone for three hours, all worried. And since sanity's fudge you, I'm worried too. I came out to my mom last night. <sighs> I love you. You know that, right? Yeah. Just hope she still does, you know? I mean, she seemed a little... All right, she seemed a lot. You've had a year of being gay, Marco. She, she's had a night of you being gay. Okay, I am so calling Dylan right now. <laughs> well, hey, hey, what are you doing? Most you can spend on your campaigns, $40. Um, they were for free. His dad is... It doesn't matter. Unfair advantage. Look, why are you doing this? Because you're running. And because I can. Nobody's gonna vote for you, okay? Nobody. Not yet. Not ever, unless they open up votes to high school dropouts or your parole officer. We'll see. We'll ask the crowd tomorrow at the assembly, see what they say. Who would you rather vote for? The freak? Or the queer? By the way, I'm the freak. Nice form. Don't tease me. You know what you said yesterday about getting back together? I'd really, really, really like that. I said don't tease me. I'm not. What about tomorrow after school? Tomorrow? I got thing. OK, I, I just thought we could start this year off right. All right, I, I'll see what I can do. Okay. And I was teasing about your formina. Awful. Okay, tomorrow after school, I'm gonna come over and I'm gonna loan you the coolest new skirt. Okay, and I need this, why? For the whole get Chris back thing, I mean, those legs of yours, they're a killer asset. I'm not trying to get him back. But you love him. I can see it in your eyes. I never said that. Okay, I'm totally confused. I didn't want him to go on a date. Because you're jealous. Of Liberty Van Zandt? Yeah. You're embarrassed? You wouldn't be? What are people gonna think of me if Chris goes out with Liberty next? That's, that's the meanest thing I've ever heard you say. And that's really saying something. We can tell Baba that the assembly's students only, that parents are not allowed. You would lie to him like that? Well, maybe, maybe we don't have to. Maybe Alex is just bluffing, trying to freak me out before my speech. And if she's not? Look, I don't know what to do, Ma. It, it breaks my heart that because you are gay, these people will hate you. Nobody hates me. This girl? Yeah, but that's not because I'm... Oh. Hey, hey, the posters, uh, they were good, Marco. I'm dropping out of the election. Look, I talked to the president from last year and he said it's a lot of work. No, 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 and... Marco. You, you, you will do it. But my studies are gonna... No, Marco, uh, for running, I am proud of you. But now, quitting? No, don't make me less proud. voting for Alex today, you? You're dead to me. What? Manny told me. Jealousy's really ugly, Emma. No, 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 Liberty. It's just hard for me letting Chris go, that's all. Well, guess what? It's easy for me letting you go straight to hell. All students are reminded to report to the gym for student council elections, not homeroom. 
feel like I'm gonna barf. Don't tell me you're serious about these stupid elections. Alex, just who I wanted to see. What? Yesterday when you said you'd call me gay in front of the whole school. I was gonna call you queer, but if you prefer gay. I don't, thanks. Look, you have an actual chance at winning this. You think? So call me gay, queer, whatever. But is that how you want to fight? Or do you want to try and win this election for real? Save it for Miss Sauvet. It's always the same. Some pretty boy or girl wants to be president. And me? We. Sit out while they have their special dances or trips nobody can afford. So I say screw them. Screw student council. I say no dances, no trips, nothing. Not if it's gonna be just like last year. But take a chance and vote for me. It won't be like last year. I will make changes, or they count. So it's up to you, Degrassi. What are you gonna do? You gonna vote for the freak? Or the pretty boy? Pretty boy! Because you'll have more fun with the freak. Thank you, Alex. Up next is Marco Del Rosso. Look, she's right. No, Alex is right. The school split. But where she's wrong? Look, come on, it's not the president's job to remind us that we're freaks. I mean, I'd do that fine all by myself. Queer. <coughs> Mr. Hogarth, I'll see you after in my office. Marco! Hey. Queer? Sure. Odd? Why not? Strange? You bet. I love this school. And I promise if you vote for me, I will bring Degrassi together in freakish harmony for the first time. For real. Thank you. Council meeting will be Thursday at lunch. And last but not least, your student council president is Marco Del Rossi. Right way. I get to pick my vice president. I get to pick my nose. Alex. I don't play well with others. Good. I'm not asking you to play. I really liked your speech. But most important, I think you can bring a lot to the position. Thursday, right? Bring your lunch. Congratulations, Mr. President. So, what does it feel like to be the most powerful man at Degrassi? Mixing me up with Mr. Radich, eh? Not cool nor flattering. <laughs> I really liked you being here today, Dylan. Probably because I just plain old like you. I told my mom. Paige told me. But I'm not ready to tell my dad. Not yet. You're eventually gonna have to tell him. But uh, when you're ready. And I'm okay with that part. Hey, Mr. President! That's our new president, huh? I'm so happy for him. So? How much you win to buy? I won. Let's leave it at that. Yeah, I still think you could have used more posters. <laughs> ah, Marco, that the boy. What he called out. Uh, what you answered back. What is that? Dirty politics. I mean, I guess queer was the worst thing he thought he could call me, you know? Yeah. Still, you make me and your mama very proud of you today. Very proud. <laughs> Didn't he, Dylan? He won, Mrs. Arasi, and I think that's great. I'm 
someone tell me I'm hallucinating. Who is he? Remember our friend Terry McGregor? The girl who was in the coma last year? He's the psycho who put her there. His name's Rick, her ex. He used to beat her. Yeah, and he's your new classmate, Emma. He starts 10th grade tomorrow. We have to do something. I know. Let's adopt a dolphin. Train him to defend us from Rick. Or we can talk to Mr. Radich. Sure. Me and Marco can handle that without you. Oh, that was a classic. Oh. Thanks. So, you're sure your dad won't mind us using his hot tub like this? Sometimes, Manny. You just have to say, what the heck? You know who loves hot tubs? Emma Nelson? No. Emma lives for stabbing you in the back, ripping out your heart, and stomping it bloodless with her pointy ballerina feet. To 10th grade. We're gonna be 16 this year. To the future, to growing up and to leaving childish things behind. To leaving childish things behind. <laughs> Daniel Van said that's mom's iron board. It was. Now it's a diving board. You gotta think outside the box. Uh -uh. And now. Diving for Canada in the sexy red trunks, James Tiberius York. <laughs> Look, it's a stack of dimes. <laughs> 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 You guys really handled Radich. The following students please see Mr. Burke during lunch today. His name remains Eric Martin. Marco, Paige, Spinner, Jimmy. Excuse me, I've got to get by. I must step aside. We don't want him here, Mr. Radich. This isn't one of your little crusades, Emma. This is serious. I'm warning you. Stay out of it. So, what are we doing Friday night? You, me, couch, romantic DVD? Um, you know what? I think I might be busy. Oh. Something wrong. It's just you've been kind of distant since the hot tub party, and, uh, it's not my, you know, no, no, that was stupid and embarrassing. You must feel awful. Nothing a kiss can't cure. Craig. Hi. Hi. Sorry to interrupt. Um, no, it's okay. You weren't interrupting anything. So, how was your summer? It's nothing special. You? Yeah. Same. Well, I better get going. Bye. Okay. Hi, Craig. Nice to see you, too. Hey, Manny, I'm Stalker Craig. Can I lurk around while you kiss JT? Uh, I'd lurk, too. Manny's smoking. Maybe Manny's still hot for him. Please. Look, JT, in four months, you and Manny have barely even kissed. Don't you think something's wrong? Craig. Mano a mano. Manny is my girlfriend. Okay. And I need you to respect that. I do. Whatever. It's just that, you know, sometimes you hang down and it's, I mean, around. Sometimes you hang around and it's, it's just not. What are you looking at? What are you talking about? What do you mean, what am I talking about? You were, you were, you were no, no, no. out my. No, I wasn't. It's, that's not. What? No, no, spare. I, I, I wasn't. It's, it's, it's a lie. That's a horrible lie. Now, online gamers club will be after school today at the MI level. 
Paige, a moment. Um, I was thinking maybe we could talk. Maybe bury the hatchet. You put my friend in a coma. One, I know I let my anger get the better of me last year. And two, I'm in counseling. I'm even seeing Miss Sauvé. How, how is Terry? Anyway. tell anyone about this. I will, honest. There is a psycho in our school, Emma, and no one is doing a damn thing about it. Well, we will, together. OK. But I'm not so good at this whole protest thing. That's OK, because I am. Just don't call me cause girl, OK? So, uh, Emma, what are you doing now? I was gonna go home. After you have a green tea frappe with me at the dock. Gotta go sip a frap with Paige. Have fun in your hot tub. <laughs> Mac lip glass, it smells like vanilla. I can't, it's expensive. No, go ahead, Hazel and I always share. We're uh, cosmetic communists. <laughs> Psycho at six o'clock. Oh my god, I can't believe this. Let's go. No. We don't want you at Degrassi. I have a right to an education. Look. What I did to Terry last year was horrible. But I'm getting therapy. I've changed. I don't care. Find another school, Rick, or you'll be sorry. Is that a threat? It's Mr. Radich warned you. You can't touch me. Yeah, maybe not at Degrassi. Show the school where you stand. All proceeds go to the Directions Women's Shelter. Thanks, guys. Support Students Against Violence. Thank you. This is about Rick, isn't it? It's a silent protest. We want to pressure Rick, make his life hell. Without breaking any rules whatsoever, Emma's a genius. There's nothing Radich can do. Wow, such heroes. Worn by a ribbon? Support students against violence. Guys, check it out. I have the solution to JT's little problem. A penis pump? How'd you buy this? Well, I didn't. Gunther von Eisenstadt did. Take it out. Well, not out here. The guy said it'll turn your car to snake into an anaconda. I am not putting my thing in there. It's a snake. Snakes bite. Don't be stupid. It's decoration. Let's see how this thing works. Uh, step one. Insert member into tub. Tub? You don't have a tub? They mean tube. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Um, step two, use hand pop to make fine suction? Who wrote this? Forget the instructions. Your hand goes in the tube, then you pump. OK, OK, I got it, I got it. Uh, Craig. You don't have to explain, really. Yeah. Yeah. Some 
Okay, so uh, Miss Kwan asked us to read a verse that speaks to our hearts, and this verse by Kid Ulrich speaks to mine. <clears throat> I want to find me a girl to love, a girl with wealth and class. But most of all, I want me a girl with a bootylicious. Enough, Kevin. <laughs> Take your seat. Okay, who's next? May I? Um, I, I'd like to read you some thoughts from Mahatma Gandhi. Um, the weak can never forgive. Forgiveness is the attribute of the strong. It is the quality of the brave, not the coward. <gasps> Gavin! <laughs> Principal's office, now. <laughs> now! <laughs> I just went for a walk with the king. The gym? Did it work? I think so. Well, let her be the judge. JT's gonna come over here. You know what? Why won't he leave me alone? Because he's your boyfriend? Look, Manny, if that's how you feel about him, then you need to break up. Mm, no, I can't. That'll kill him. But you can't go on like this. Just sit him down tonight and do it. Hey. Hi. I was wondering if uh, maybe you wanted to come over to my place after school. Um. Um. Yeah. Okay. Attention, all students. I have to be quite disheartened. One, it'll only take a minute. Two, it's uh, to give you this. It's a check. You can't take your money, Rick. The whole ribbon campaign is about you. $500? $554. And 16 cents, to be exact. I donate more, but it's all I have. You can't buy forgiveness, Rick. It's an anonymous donation. No one needs to know but you. Too late. Nobody wants your guilt money. Alex, listen to me. Or what, freak? Are you gonna put me in a coma, too? Um, Alex, can I have the check, please? Nice. Real nice, Alex. Maybe if you cared about the cause. What do you know about it? You ever ice your mom's lip? Bandage her up? Lay awake at night listening to her cry? Didn't think so. Entree. What happened in here? Oh, nothing. I just uh, made it a little cozier. You're kind of sweaty. Oh, sorry. I guess I am a kind of nervous. <laughs> I have to go to the bathroom. Oh, all right. Well, no rush. I guess I could use a minute to freshen up. Suck 
can do this. <clears throat> I can explain. <sighs> Did you see Heather Sinclair's eyebrows? Tragically overflapped. <laughs> they should confiscate her tweezers or something. <laughs> hey, what is he doing here again? Coffee, please. He probably came to see his new crush, Emma. What's she talking about? Nothing. Rick talked to me. It was no big deal. Didn't seem that way to me. If you're starting to wimp out and feel sorry for that psycho, I'm not honest. Afternoon, Emma. That's it. It's on. Let him go! You started this cause, girl. Let's go. What are you gonna do? Hurt me? One, violence is never the answer. Two, we don't care. I was just trying to live up to Craig. What? I saw him in the locker room, naked. And it became obvious to me that he has something that I don't. You know what, JT? Craig does have something you don't. Maturity. And I don't mean his size. I mean the way he acts. You're always farting and joking around. Well, I'm sorry. Give me another chance, okay? I can change. No, JT, I'm sorry. It's over. Glasses. From sixth grade. I, I, um, I wanted to thank you. Well, don't. Things got out of hand and I stopped it. It doesn't mean I like you and it doesn't mean we're friends. But, Rick, why did you come back here? I like it at Degrassi. Well, I used to. That was horrible. I've changed. All those people who hate me, I want to let them see who I really am. Show them how wrong they are. Well, they're not interested, Rick. They will be. Someday. <laughs> Thank you.